are some funny questions that are maybe inappropriate. Um, with this stuff. Go live with Jake. There we go. I'm so excited. I just love that episode so much. Hi. Oh, Jake! Oh my gosh, you're alive! Oh, I, I am. I am. You bring my shirt on. My shirt on and everything. I did it. I went all out. I went like so all out. Oh my gosh. Dude. Good. It honestly feels good. It feels good like being able to talk about it finally. Oh my gosh. And then just like, I don't know, just it's overwhelming. It's a little overwhelming. It's really cool that everyone's so, <laughs> it sounds so messed up, but it's really cool that everyone's so heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> they love you. What's so funny to me is like, as of last week, literally the last scene, everyone hated you. And in one episode, you were able to get people to fall in love with you. <sighs> Dude, it's so heartbreaking. It's such a twist of the knife. I know. I know. I, yeah, last episode, I was, <laughs> that's what I was saying on Twitter. I was like, it was so funny. We go from me basically threatening to kill you to like hugging you. So it's cool. We progress. Oh my gosh, man. Oh. Okay. Dylan was asking me this yesterday. What's up? What? Okay. Because when, you know, when we film it, specifically that last scene with your dad brainwave and you like pick up all the rocks you didn't pick anything up it was literally nothing around you nothing was going on so what's it like like seeing it all finished i mean it's kind of surreal i'd say it's like it's kind of equivalent to like well i guess even when you're using the staff you still get to have that light up beam it, it's it's honestly kind of crazy i mean because like if i think about it on the day i was just screaming <laughs> um so ah! I, yeah, it's it's nuts too. Just because, like, you know, with like Jeffy likes to keep everything a secret. So, like, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I didn't know anything. Um, I definitely got chills. I freaked out too, just because like it was such a superhero moment that like I don't know, watching it and just seeing how crazy they went with it. And and my favorite shot of that whole fight is when Chris looks. Well, sorry, Brainwave Senior looks through the rocks at me that's like my favorite shot in the whole that whole fight it was nuts i mean it's just like it's all crazy the lair fight the cafeteria like it's all just i don't know you know me i'm like such a dork with this stuff so it's like i don't know it's pretty it's pretty nuts i'm such i bought myself a shirt <laughs> well, of... I, I love it i remember at the very beginning you told me like like you know if it started me and your dad that that would mean we're cousins because brainwave was married to because you you did all this research and knew this and i was like what and then they actually made it happen i'm like that wow which i didn't know if i didn't even know if that was going to happen or not either because when i first met with jeff we like that wasn't confirmed you know that was just kind of like speculation essentially um i know it's crazy man it's so crazy i feel so bad for the fans like i love it for the fans because it's like obviously it's a fantastic episode as a whole there's so much that happens and then i mean they're not even ready for like these next the rest to come for just you guys and how crazy you guys get man like i'm so excited for them like i guess what's so exciting is to think of like how heartbroken they are over this and how affected they are and how we still really haven't even scratched the surface you know like there's still like so much that's about to happen and people are like how do you top this and i'm just like i don't know just wait like, just wait. Um, Although no. I do think this is probably, I mean, I haven't seen the finished last three episodes, but I yeah. think this will be my favorite episode just because I feel like it has like, has a really cool fight scene. It has emotion, it has heart. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. I'm super biased, obviously, but it's definitely my favorite episode. But I think it's my favorite because it's the first time so many characters that have been completely away from each other for so long are all meeting first time or are all like interacting for the first time like it's I still find it surreal just seeing Henry at the table like that just seems so odd to me and like not not a bad way but it's just such like it's so crazy seeing us all interact and being in the in the first da time you guys ever go underground as a team you're with Henry like that that was like so crazy to me um yeah I don't know there's just like so many things that happen that are so um there's so many firsts like you never see Barbara and Pat mad at each other right mm -hmm. like you you never see you never see yolanda cry over henry <laughs> like you just don't like like you don't you don't see her so heartbroken in the sense of that like you know i i guess i guess that's what i love so much too is you got so many payoffs like 
Mm -hmm. So this many. So much build up, and this just had so much. Yeah. Well, yeah. I feel like the first. I feel like the first twenty minutes of the episode are just is just setting up so many things, right? And then after, I mean, goodness, after basically your staff runs off, the episode just like skyrockets. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely my favorite. I'm biased, but it's 100% my favorite. Yeah, it's good. Someone said, <clears throat> can't wait to see Jake on Boba Talks. What is that? What are you doing on Boba Talks? Boba Talks, he's, so he's this uh, YouTuber I've been watching for a long time, actually, like before the show. And uh, we just did an interview this morning. So it was kind of like a full circle for me because I've been a fan of him for a long time. And he's like, hey, can I interview you? And I was like, absolutely yeah, just, yeah 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 so i just yeah are you kidding yeah so i just did an interview with him this morning the coolest but uh yeah so that's coming out i think tomorrow um but yeah it's it's i'm just dude i'm just so happy to finally talk about it and finally like claim being part of the jsa and claim finally being henry like brainwave jr and everything it's so it's so fun i'm probably gonna wear this shirt for like the next month no, yeah. you should. You totally should. I feel like that's one of the coolest parts about being part of, like, a DC show, though. Like, is there are spoilers, so you have to be, like, so secretive. Right. Sometimes it's annoying, but it's it's really fun, too. No, you know something that's, like, super funny to me, too, is, like, because um, we were joking about, like, the the shirt and spoilers and all that. Like, something that became super iconic to me, and I didn't think it was going to be, and, and a lot of it, like, with the fan art, which is amazing, which we all collectively love, you guys. Just want to put that out there. All fan art's awesome. Right. It's all so talented. Every single one blows my mind. So good. Yeah. And the cosplay. Like, I don't know if you've seen any of the. Yeah. The, like, handmade Stargirl costumes or just any of the costumes. Yeah. Going. Well, it's crazy. It's crazy. What, what I love so much, though, is they've made my varsity jacket, like, iconic. Like, I love seeing it now. Like, I, I love, like. It's so funny because I'd always joke when we were on set, when we we're all, you guys were all suited up. I'd like throw it on like I'm like, suiting up. Suit on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so funny though. It's become like so iconic. I wish I had, I wish I had one. Like I, I, I wish. You'll have to ask Jack. You, I feel I know. like you deserve it. I know, right? I, right, I could take that home. It's not, it's a varsity jacket. Um, I saw someone tweet, they're like, does Henry ever take off his varsity jacket? No, never. Do, never. You, do you actually, do you have it on in like every single scene? No, I've actually got like four scenes where I'm not wearing it. Oh, okay. And honestly, <laughs> that was a lot of it was my choice. A lot of it was just like, can I take this off like once? Just like just once. Um, gotcha. Yeah. I was like, if it was me, I'd always want it off. It was so hot in Atlanta. I'd be like, oh, get this thing off me. Oh my god, yeah. But uh, but no, I I actually I I love like all the artwork and stuff because it's so cool seeing them. Um, it's also just cool seeing them utilize our features and everything isn't that crazy like seeing like i don't know i've never experienced that like seeing artwork and people using your face and stuff like it's it blows my mind man well what's really cool is like i'll be scrolling through like my tagged photos and i'll think it's a photo of me I'm like oh i don't remember taking that picture i don't know i'll click on it and it's a drawing or something and i'm like yeah crap these people are so they're talented i know they're so talented i uh <laughs> it's it's kind of funny man it it, it like this is, I kind of want to print out some of them, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, there's definitely a few I've been wanting to frame. You like, should I'm, reach out to them and just like DM them and be like, I'm a big fan of your work. I would love if you could mail this to me. I'm sure they would love that. If I could get like a print, like an actual print. Yeah. There's one I saw that looked like a Saturday morning cartoon with all of us. And that one, it's like the background of my phone. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah, it like, I, I fell in love with it, man. Cause I, I just like grew up on, on that stuff. So like, it was so wicked. Um, I, I think that's also why I freaked out with tonight's episode, too. It's just, like, everyone, fi like, fighting as a team and not getting our butt kicked. Well, Henry kind of gets his butt kicked. But everyone fighting in the dragon. <laughs> a little bit more than kicked, but. Yeah. But, but, uh, but, like, fighting in the dragon lair together was, like, so crazy. Like, oh, my God. And then, dude, our stunt team. Holy. Oh, my. Okay. I love that Star Girl didn't have her staff and was still kicking butt because still kicking butt. Like, he's not even a superhero. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yes. but she kicked butt and took names. Yeah, that I mean, that that stomps out every single one. Well, it's interesting, too, because the fight was so good. You forgot about the staff for a second. You know what I mean? In a good way. Like you like yeah. you guys going at it and then you're like, oh, right. The powerful staff. That's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> In the part where um, Yvette or Wildcat, like, the staff is hanging up and she goes and, like, 
cuts all the metal to get the staff down. Oh, yeah. and, and we can't forget that we see Dragon King's face for the first time. I know, I know. I know. And then that that video you posted of uh, of Nelson. Of Nelson dancing. That's so funny. Have that you is so seen funny. That? I like it was so long ago. I forgot what it was. Oh, I was like, I God. thought it was so funny. I was like walking around on set, being like, "Look at this funny video of Nelson." I know. I, it's gonna be crazy to top that fight, man. That that fight was absolutely nuts. I mean, I love that like they teased the Solomon Grundy stuff too. Like I'm saying, mm -hmm. there was so much payoff from like seeing Dragon King's face to like seeing Shiv again. To yeah, Solomon well, Grundy to you. Just there was like so much that finally. What's interesting though is like nothing was really, you know. And th this isn't trying to like praise the show like crazy, but like nothing was predictable. I don't know. Like, like it didn't yeah. feel, you know what I mean? Like the entire time I didn't know if Rick was going to go that far, you know? I mean, like you, like as, as a viewer, you really don't know till the very end. What's I remember gonna reading this script and like when the rocks fell, I was like, I was shocked. And I, I talked yeah. to Jeff all the time and I like, but I, it still shocked me. I don't think anyone saw that coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, <laughs> dude, I feel like the West Coast is just about to, like, they're just going to try to ignore all the tweets they can. Just oh, like, I know. It's probably, oh, it's probably They've probably seen stuff, so I'm so I'm so sorry. This is really funny. Tanner asked, what are Dragon King's minions called? And I actually, I have a funny comment about this, because do you remember in the script, they were always called drones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I first read it, like, the very first script, I think the drones are first seen in episode Six, yeah, they're, or five, yeah. one one or the other, and it was like, it was when Shiv like slices the throat, and it's like Shiv uses her claw to cut it and starts bleeding, and I was like, wait, why would a drone bleed? Because I was thinking it was the camera drone. Well, no, I, was thing. Saying, I felt like such an idiot. Oh, oh. Like I didn't know he was talking about. They were talking about minions. Like I no, didn't know me neither. I yeah, thought he was I, talking about like literally like drones that were flying around, like being his minions. He's also but not like, people. He's also like a you know jack of all trades. He's like a chemist and a technician and an engineer. So like it didn't it didn't seem uh, unbelievable. To no, me. I don't like. Yeah, he could have. I like, expected his player to have like a little spot. No, they were people that he brainwashed. Dude, you know what's okay. Who do you think is the, sorry, now I'm just asking a random question. Hit Who me. do you think is the most <laughs> lethal villain? The most lethal villain? Out of the ISA, yeah. <laughs>in general yeah, on the show star girl yeah i definitely i mean again i'm a little biased i'd say my dad i mean he's yeah. like if you don't because my, my thing with him is like if you're not up close on him you can't get up to him right like the, the the only reason you knocked him out is because you're right at him like if you can't get up to him you're done like we can literally kill people by just looking at them like it's that easy you know what i mean so like i mean you know uh icicle's pretty lethal but like, like icicle is just so evil where yeah. brainwave is i mean he's evil don't get me wrong he just yeah. um killed his own son but uh i think he's definitely more lethal mm -hmm. yeah i yeah i think i think brainwave at the end of the day is more lethal because he's willing to sacrifice everything yeah you know what i mean you're right icicle would not kill hunt i don't think so no, no, but I, same. Yeah, I, I don't, I just, I could not see, because the whole reason he's doing it is because of his wife, right? So it's like, like, that's, the, I think that's what's so funny about their polarities is like, Icicle's kind of like all about family. And then Brainwave's all about, yeah, why like. Why is Brainwave doing it? I think his head's really screwed up. I think like. Yeah, but it's like well, and that's the whole point. I think if Courtney didn't come talk, like if you didn't come talk to Henry, I think he would have just ended up like his dad because it's so much easier. Well, and it's and it's honestly what I loved about the writing. It's very symbolic about society. It's so much easier to assume someone's one thing than try a little harder to see if they're not. I mean, that's just that's how we work as people. We live off of assumptions. You know what I mean? So it's like if you had the power to actually figure out what if that if the, your assumptions were correct, 
then you'd never try to look deeper. You'd be like, oh, I think they're the worst. Oh, they are the worst. Done. You know what I mean? And that could leave you down like a really bad path. So I don't really blame him for what's happened to him. But I also think he's like, I don't think he's redeemable at all. No. no. <laughs> like, no. But I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just like, he's stressing. And then I'm going to live tweet with everybody again. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Why not? Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna, with them too. Dude, I'm going to ride this into the ground. Let me tell you. Okay. Jake, last hmm. final question. Okay. So we just saw you die, right? Yeah. So yeah. will you be seen again in this season? I don't know. I, I mean, I think I'm like dead, dead. Like, I mean. You're dead, dead? But yeah. could you have like put like a, a shield around you? Couldn't you? That's like been eerie and like that's sweet. That's really cute. You know, I, I, I wish. Oh, you put a, <laughs> I wish you put a shield around him. Like, like, you know, that's wishful thinking. But as far as I'm concerned, he is under those rocks he's like you know like jelly under there you know okay. what i mean thanks for being descriptive really appreciate it yeah. <laughs> well, okay jake i told you this a million times but you did so good you should be so so proud of yourself like i remember at the very beginning i want to say like third episode i just like texted you and told you how amazing you were and i was like what your process as an actor was and you sent me like a two-page so like detailed articulate description of what you do and how like and it, it pays off like everything you're so talented i appreciate you, love you're amazing thank you so much i appreciate it i just can't wait to see what you guys do next season and then the seasons come after that and the season to come after that yeah it's gonna be amazing man. i'm just i'm glad i'm glad we got to we got to end so strong you know it will always have we'll always have it oh my gosh Ugh. okay well, go have fun live tweeting with the West Coast. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you this upcoming week for when we watch episode 11. We always get together and watch the episode. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? It's just about done. It just has flown by. Like, I swear that the first episode just came out. I know. I know. I'm pumped, though. 11 going to be good. They don't even know. Ugh. I know. I was super excited because I had seen, I told you this, but I would seen every single episode except 9, 10 and 11 mm -hmm. and so these past two weeks have been so exciting for me because i've been watching them for the first time like sunday when we watched it together that was literally my first time seeing and i'm sure you saw it different because i was so annoying everything else like, that gave me chills oh my gosh barbara just did that i was i'm so obnoxious the first time i watched it. like <laughs> no, good. that's the best way man uh no i know i Love like the same oh my gosh uh, yeah i mean what's so funny is i just read they're going to hate me for this. I just read the scripts of 11, 12, and 13 just to refresh. So I just forgot. There's so many things that happened. <laughs> I just forgot. I Oh, man. I'm so excited. I don't really remember everything that happens in 11. I couldn't even remember what the episode was called. And the trailer just came out for it. And it was called Shining Night. And I was like, oh, yeah. I totally forgot yeah. about all that. A lot of crazy stuff happens. Yeah. I'm so, I am so pumped. Yeah, so, you guys aren't ready. If not if ready. You haven't watched it. Go catch up. You can go watch it free on the CW app. Literally, yeah. it's free. The best price. Literally um, free. Completely free. And, and it's so easy. you can go watch him, and he'll make you cry. But yeah. It's worth it. Oh man, this is so much fun, love. Yes, I'll talk to you soon. All right, talk to you soon. Peace Bye. out. Well, guys, that was really fun. I'm just like so pumped after that episode i'm just so so proud of jake like he really is just so talented he's done so much good work in the past and i feel like that's just highlight i told him when i watched that and i was like that better go on your acting reel because you freaking killed it um anyway thanks guys for watching this i hope you enjoyed star girl and yeah okay have a great tuesday <laughs>